welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to get this up before Halloween, but I didn't. Um, whoopsies. <laughs> this is a piece very much inspired by Serendipity the Artist. I will link her down below. I love her paintings. And yeah, let's just get into it. So the first thing that I did was I took the Mehron paint, I took black, and then I took dark blue, and I created a gradient on my chest with this. Um, and then I took Bonnie from Mel Cosmetics Gemini Palette, and I set the black paint with that eyeshadow and then I took the Viseart Editorial Brights palette and I took the dark blue eyeshadow and I set the dark blue paint with that. I'm doing the chest art pretty quickly because uh, you guys have seen me paint clouds like a million times and also because that's not really the concentration of this makeup look I wanted to do the face for once to be the concentration um, but once I get done setting everything I took the NYX SFX cream paint in black um, and I tapped that all over my chest and then I took the blue one I tapped that on my chest and then I took the white one and I tapped that on my chest I'm doing it kind of haphazardly I'm just trying to get like a cloudy sort of texture on my chest and I'm doing this with a beauty blender once I get done putting down the um, cream paint with my sponge, I'm going in with my finger and I'm just making more like concentrated sections of clouds and I'm just tapping uh, the white paint with my finger and then tapping it on my chest. I took my Viseart Editorial Brights palette and I took the white eyeshadow from it and I have a fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm just like tapping this on top of the clouds in some certain areas because it's making them look a little bit fluffier. And then I took Doom from Kat Von D's Pastel Goth palette and added the song I am playing. I just wanted more like shades to my clouds, you know. And this is a fake AF Make Forever uh, flash palette. I took the white paint from this and I have a round brush and I'm just dragging it down and it's creating highlights on the clouds. Once I got done with the white highlights, I went in with the light blue and I just did the same thing, drag it down. And then I went in with the dark blue, same thing, drag it down. It's just creating, you know, more shades and colors to my clouds. These are the Absolute New York Cotton Candy Liners. The first one I'm taking is mint and I'm just putting little dots all around my sky, like little stars, you know. And then I took the lemon one, same thing, little dots all around my sky. With Ofra's Space Baby, I am taking my finger and I'm just tapping it into my sky. It's making like a little sparkly effect. It's pretty because it's the sky, I love sparkles. And this is the NYX White Liquid Liner. I'm putting dots in the sky and then also um, I'm taking it and I'm tapping it on top of the clouds just to create some highlights on top of the clouds. And then I put little crosses in the sky and those are like bright stars. Last but certainly not least, I had to add some sparkle to my sky, so I took my chunky ass Michael's glitter and I just tapped some of that in my sky. And I didn't even need to use glue because this paint is just so sticky, it just grabs it. Um, I also took blue milk from Lime Prime and I just put some little dots of stars with that light blue in the sky. Uh, this is Smashbox's primer water, spray my face with that. These are the Makeup Forever Pore Minimizing and also Mattifying Primers. Put those on my face. Then I brushed out, brushed out my brows. This is the NYX On The Point Liquid Liner. Um, I'm filling in my eyebrows with this. I've started to fill my brows in a little bit more like hair-like towards the tail because I've been liking it lately. I don't know if it's for everyone, but I've been liking it. Um, so I just did like hair-like brush strokes back there, and then I filled in the front and also feathered some towards the back with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo and Granite. I've been really loving this Milk Kush uh, Fiber Brow Gel lately. I have the shade Dutch, I believe, um, but I'm just putting this towards the front of my brows just to like spike them up. And then I took the e.l.f. eyelid primer and I put that on my lid. This is Smashbox's Cover Shot Palette in Pinks and Palms. And I'm working in like the lighter pink shade into my crease, just going back and forth with a fluffy brush. And I'm gradually um, putting the like slightly darker pink shade on top of it just to get more of a pinky peachy effect going on. To highlight the brow bone, I'm taking the Viseart Editorial Brights White Shade, and then I took my MAC Concealer. I forget what the name of this is. It's the new MAC Concealer. Um, I'll have it down below, and I'm just cutting out my crease with that. I took Triumph from Lime Crimes Venus XL palette and I am just really kind of outlining where that cut crease is and then I'm blending it out with a little tiny blending brush. 
using Kevin Aqua's Electro Pop Palette. I took the mint shade in that and I put that on my lid, but I'm not putting it all over my lid. I am leaving a space blank right where like my lid and that pink line meet because I want to take the pinky shade from this palette and put that there so that there's a blend from the mid to the pink. With black from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette dupe, I am just creating a cat eye with that. And then I took, I believe this is Death, from Notoriously Morbid Multicrumbs, and I just put that on top. So it's like a reflective, you know, purpley cat eye. I've been loving this Becca Skin Love Foundation. It's in linen. Um, yeah, I've just been really loving it, like the finish and everything. But I put that on my face and I blend it out with the Beauty Blender. And then I took that same MAC concealer, and I put that on all the areas that you would highlight, so underneath my eye, down the bridge of my nose, chin, um, and forehead. I'm taking the NYX Conceal Correct Contour Palette, and I think it's in light. I'm not real sure. It's whatever the lightest shade is. Um, and I'm just contouring my cheekbones with this. So I'm just doing like a line diagonal down from my ear and then flicking some brush strokes up. And then I'm doing like a kind of V shape on my nose and I'm blending it out with upward circular motions with my stippling brush. To set the face, I used the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten in Porcelain and I tapped that all over my face. And then I took the Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Loose Powder and I baked with that. Taking the Viseart palette yet again, I took the teal shade from it and I am contouring my cheekbones with that. So I just took like a blending brush and I drew like a line and then I flipped it upward and blended it into my skin. I wanted more of an unnatural sort of contour to my face. Um, I also contoured my chin with that and then I took the Tarte Natural Beauty Blush and I'm just putting that on my cheeks and blending it into the blue. And by my cheeks, I mean literally everywhere. <laughs> it's going all over the face. After I was done putting a shitload of blush on, I went in with my Vizier palette and I took the red from it. And I'm just blending a little bit of that into where the light pink and the blue meet. And also on my nose, because I wanted there to be more of like a pop of color in those areas and just look a little bit more intense. For highlighter, I use this Maybelline highlighter. It's like, I don't know what this shade is, it'll be down below, um, but it's like super sparkly and I put that on my cheekbones and on my forehead, nose, cupid's bow, inner corners. With the Viseart red shade, I took my brush and I just went underneath my eyes with that. And I wanted my eyes to look a little bit puffier, so I'm not putting it like right on my lash line. I'm doing it slightly below. And then I'm taking the purple from that same exact palette and I'm just lining that so it looks like there's more of a defined crease under there. And then I took Bonnie from the Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette and I am lining my lower lash line. Now for my sheepies, so I, I'm taking my NYX white eyeliner and I'm starting to sketch out these sheep. I'm looking at the painting that I am referencing and I'm also looking, I looked at some images on Google and that's just kind of how I'm getting these sheep. Um, so there's two on my forehead that are jumping. There's one that's standing on my cheek and then the other one on the other side of my cheek is laying down. First step of painting that I'm doing is I'm taking the Mayron white paint and I'm just laying down flat color with that with the white on each sheet. To set all that paint, I am taking that Vizier palette, I'm taking the white and I'm just tapping it on top of each of the sheet. With this four watercolor palette, I took the lightest blue shade in this and I'm starting shading with that. So I'm doing it like around the belly, the legs, the chin, 
Um, I'm just trying to make this sheep look more like a sheep and not a white blob. I also took a bit of peach from the same exact palette. I'm just adding some peachy tones into the fur because it looked cute. After that, went back into the Gemini palette. I took Luna and I'm starting to actually start shading the sheep in. Um, so like get more like defined shading. So like really separate those legs, get where the ear is, separate it from the head, shade in like one leg more so than the other one to make it look like it's behind it. Uh, yeah, so I'm just doing like some basic shading with this really light brown. With Cupcake, I'm just adding even more to the shading. I'm getting it even more defined. So like sort of almost starting like line work. Like I'm actually like kind of sketching in those legs with this tiny brush. And then I took Bonnie and I am just shading in where his little hooks are at the bottom of his feet. They're so cute. I love sheep, you guys. Like I really do. Once I get done basic shading on this sheep, I am taking my NYX SFX cream paint in white and I have a round brush. I'm just dragging this down. I'm creating like basically what I did on the chest, but a more simple version of it. Um, I'm not making it quite as detailed, but it's still kind of detailed. Um, and I'm making sure to put the clouds like for these cheek ones underneath the sheep so that they're like standing on them. And then I'm highlighting their cute little wool. Oh my god, I love sheep. Um, so I'm doing this with the NYX Foundation Mixer in white, and I'm just tapping this. I'm just creating little highlights in their wool and like on their little legs and stuff. So cute. And then cloud highlight, same technique you guys. Um, I am using that Vegas Make Forever palette, the white from it, and I'm dragging it down again, a round brush, and then it's creating highlights on those clouds. With Deep from the NYX Foundation Mixers, I am doing like a slight little outline on my uh, sheeps. I'm not doing like everywhere though, like it's not a complete outline, just like where the ears are to separate the legs. After I get done the slight outline, I took Warmth from the same thing, Next Foundation Mixer. It's like a light brown, um, and I'm creating a little bit more shading just around where the outlines are. And then I took White from the same thing, Next Foundation Mixer, and I'm putting little, like, little highlights under the little hooves, you know, a little shine there. Cute. With that NYX on the point eyeliner, I gave each sheep a little dot for an eyeball, and I also outlined each one of their little hooves. After that was done, I took the NYX uh, Vivid Bright and Vivid Petal and I gave a little dot where the noses would be um, with the pink and then I did a little dot where like the nostril would be with that NYX on the point eyeliner and then I took the NYX White Liquid Liner and I put a dot on each one of their black eyes just to create like a little shine on their eye. Um, and then again, NYX White Liquid Liner put some more even intense uh, highlights on their fur. I took the peach from this four watercolor palette and added it to my clouds because it's cute. And then I took the Mayron white paint and I created a little teardrop on my eye because my girl is sad because she is very sleepy and she has to count sheep and it's not fun. Because the more glitter you have is better, I took some of Pink Opal from e.l.f. and I put that on my lower lash line and also on my little teardrop and then I took the NYX white liquid liner and added some shines to my little teardrop. I took my cotton candy liner from Absolute New York. I took the mint one first and I just added dots all over the place on my face for little stars. Um, and then I also eventually took the yellow one, did the same thing. And then I took the NYX white liquid liner, added highlights to my clouds with that. And I also put some little stars on my cheeks um, and on my forehead with that white liquid liner. I 
just like adding like a little highlight to my nose so i took the nyx white liquid liner and i just did that i basically outlined my nostrils This is NYX's Slide On Glide On Pencil in, I believe it's in Cantaloupe. I put that on my waterline. Is it weird? I love this shade on my waterline. Like, I don't know. I just like it a lot. Kind of makes me look sick, but I dig it. Um, and this is Smashbox. is always on liquid lipstick in teal with it. And that's what I put on my lips. And that is my finished look, you guys. I really hope you guys liked it. Go check out Serendipity the Artist um, on Instagram. I'll link her down below. Love her artwork. Hope you guys like my little sleepy girl look. And uh, like this video if you like this video. Subscribe. It makes me happy. And I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Bye.